Fuck the police, nigga. Dead cops. And, uh, why you think we got these hunters with these red Damn, dots? We don't smoke no ops, we only smoking dead cops. Why you think we got these hunters with these red dots? If the police raid my cribbage, we gon' have a standoff. Trap the cuffs on me. Shot his badge off. Wrapped him like a present, then I feel like Santa Claus. Riding with these 50 yeah, Jedi, Zach and Randolph's. All white T top, we don't do no rebots. We wear glizzies with the George, that's how we rock. And it's fuck 12 unless it's body D Vox. I can't fuck with 12, not even those that ran with East Side of Muslims, call them that. Most of y'all know him and she's us. Pedophiles running around the skies, this world lead us. And Hollywood full of man, you mistake for Diva. So I left the truth, world chilly, no T Vox. Don't smoke no ops, smoking dead cops. Why you think we got these hunters with these red dots? We don't smoke no ops, we only smoking dead cops. Why you think we got these hunters with these red dots? If the police break my privilege, we gon' have a standoff. Trap his cuffs on me, shot his badge off. Wrap them like a present, damn, I feel like Santa Claus. Riding with these 50 Jet of Zacks and Randolphs. And fuck celebrities, cause most of them done sold us out. They all some house niggas till we run up in your house. And fuck celebrities, cause most of them done sold us out. Y'all all some house niggas till we run up in your house, gang. Nigga, nigga, we finna change them. Look, nigga, on my soul, nigga, when this shit drop, nigga, we finna thug so hard, I'm burning American flags, I'm pissing on the flag, real talk, and if 12 slide on me, y'all already know what it's about. I'ma let y'all know what's going on, so they, so the police can't tell y'all no different shit. Nah, it's gonna take more than stay strong, get war, nigga, police raided my shit. Yeah, me and my family good, but we not. The police raided my shit, and they want me to go turn myself in, and I'm not doing that. You know, I'm on the road doing speeches and shit. Nah, I'm on my way to the crib. If I was in the crib, boy, them people would've tried to come in and run on that killer nigga in his sleep. All type of shit. All right, so as many of you know, whenever you, whenever we get somebody that's speaking out, the system will either try to flat out kill that person or jail them behind false allegations. The police ran in my house. I wasn't there. But if I was there, nigga, y'all know how that would've went. It's only me, my wife, and my kids. So what, y'all gonna come kill me, my wife, and my kids? I hope the police watching. They say the U.S. Marshals. So this the feds. Feds. U.S. Marshals ran to my crib. My wife ended up talking to them on the phone because she got a call from her mom. So my wife like, what the fuck? Fuck y'all come to our crib for? We already know what it is, though. If you come to my crib, you 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 coming to my crib for because of what I stand for. Everybody watch me know what I stand for. But guess what, y'all? You think the marshals trying to hear my side? I told y'all this day was coming, didn't I? Cause look, I'm not turning shit in. Peace to the gods and goddesses of Planet Kai. Peace to the gods and goddesses of Planet Kai. I come to you on the behalf of Rashad Jamal on May 3rd. We leave our house by the time we get to the end of the street. Now mind you, you know, we go everywhere. My husband never leaves his family, never. Even the dog, the dog comes with us. So everybody was in the vehicle when we left on May 3rd. I was driving. He was in the passenger seat, the kids were in the back with Simba. We get down our street, we make a left to go on the main highway. Two or three seconds later, I hear sirens. I'm thinking somebody just got in an accident and they needed to shoot to the wherever they needed to be. Or I thought it was a funeral section. Had no idea that they were coming for us. So I literally pulled over to the side so they can, you know, basically pass me. They did not pass me. The next thing I hear, hands up. Now, mind you, at this time, we have guns drawing at us, okay? And they literally was pointing the gun straightly at the girls. The girls were in the back seat and Simba was in the back seat they wouldn't tell us anything telling us to roll down the windows put your hands out the window turn the car off get out the car throw the keys out the window mind you I'm supposed to have my hands up how the hell am I supposed to we're in the middle of the street they tell him to get on the ground. He gets out the car and get out the ground. He was like, look, my kids and my wife and my dog, it's only us. It's only us. We rolled the windows down so they can see, to see the girls. And they still refuse to put their weapons down. Yeah, guns could discharge as well. Yeah, 
Like, what if the gun discharged on the children? My husband is not no motherfucking punk. Y'all ain't never been arrested with your kids. I have. My kids were scared as shit, thought I was finna die, and y'all don't understand that I be ready to knock a police out in a minute, especially when you're innocent, but damn, you can't let your kids see you go out like that. If it was me and him, y'all, we both would've fucking transcended, but since we had our children in the car, and he would never put his family in hurt, harm, or danger. He's a father first. Because yes, somebody, I saw somebody posted something about, oh, he say in his songs, he, he about business. Yes, the fuck he is about business. And about his business is his fucking family and his daughters. He protected his family. And see, y'all don't hear from me. Y'all don't fucking hear from me. Y'all think they be off the chain? Y'all ain't seen me be off the motherfucking chain. I done told y'all. Ain't nobody playing with y'all. And young Pharaoh told you niggas. This is my public service announcement. I'm with the military and the CIA and the FBI. I, I see you say you work with the military and you work with the CIA. What is your thoughts on some of the corruption that they were engaged in throughout the years? I don't really know what to tell people. All I can say is I'm really upset about the corruption in the black community. I damn near could arrest a police officer, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to have them come clear all y'all bitch ass niggas out the conscious community that keep bothering me. I'm about to have the FBI come sweep all y'all niggas as black extremists. Rashad Jamal is a motherfucking black extremist. Started off with nothing, rapping in my granny kitchen. Guess these crystals got these niggas thinking they ain't with it. Guess the hood forgot them nice legetta stood on business. And they ain't distant Compton, but I see no competition. So fuck 12, fuck Marshall, and fuck Terry Wisdom. Guys don't work jobs, yet you working for the system. Real guys raise their kids, but we heard you never visit. One thing about Rashad, he gon' always keep them with him. He gon' always love Zakia, he gon' always keep up with him. He ain't worried about no threats, cause he gon' always keep it with him. He gon' get back to his people, he gon' always stand no business. He gon' pay the bills, dump the trash, and he washing dishes. So my intent was golden. Boy, come out your feelings. Boy, come out that closet, that's a double life you live in. Before you teach a lecture, need to go and teach your children. Before you teach a lecture, need to go and teach your children. Ten shots to my head, but he ain't even got no bread. He called me a black extremist. Yeah, that boy the feds How the fuck you woke? I call him locks, you call him dreads When you was on the internet, I was in the feds But anyway, they like shots, they focus Fuck what people say They gon' try assassinate your image Cause they know you great, but that's okay We OT off for life, only the river late I'm just an ex-con, turn conscious, let me contemplate Came a long way from selling crack by the park gates Now I'm teaching people how these rainbows are stargates My people think I'm dope, don't give a fuck what the narcs say My features Got a price, don't give a fuck what a mark say Glock in my car hard, took off like a car race Who you think you fooling, boy, you sweeter than a parfait I'm the cherry on the top, you just the nuts in the parfait And we know you a simp, that's on my son, just like Bart say Catch me out in Cuba with Mark Cuban, smoking Cubans Robbing for his billions, then rebuild the Mayan ruins Explore the Taj Mahal, then we flying to Aruba And now I kill a beat in my sleep on Freddy Cougar I'm just trying to stay distant, why they dissing me online? The ancestors sent me, you can see it in my eyes And they don't know my story, shy, I come from homicides I'm out here pushing peace, they pushing conquer and divide I'm trying to stay distant while they dissing me on live The ancestors sent me, you can see it in my eyes And they don't know my story, shy, I come from homicides I'm out here pushing peace, they pushing conquer and divide For real, man Now I need the pen, real over rich, we us, man I ain't with none of that conquer and divide shit. I just had to dress a few rumors. Fuck the niggas in the hood hating. Fuck the internet intellects hate, man. We the gods, man. Y'all know what it is. The real ops, the police, and the system. The cabal, the real oppressors, man. I'm about to have the FBI come sweep all y'all niggas as black extremists. Rashad Jamal is a motherfucking black extremist. And the FBI about to take him now. What the like, all, all bullshit aside, when I spoke with elders, elders warned me about how these entities are beings that come for us. This shit ain't no fucking game. This is a war right now, man. See, the bots instantly gonna jump to the media or they gonna jump to the trend and they gonna wanna probably talk bad on dude. All y'all Rashad Jamal followers ain't putting enough work in, you feel me? Every day, we've been live for six hours to keep his ass locked up and that's what's gonna what happen. The that judge is gonna say no bond. It's gonna be streamed and recorded. So stay tuned to the YouTube. See, y'all think it got something to do with the case and shit like that nah it's deeper than my baby mama they're using her as a medium the best way i can explain it is like this let's say if you got a job and you having a whole bunch of disagreeable moments at the job 
the manager can't necessarily just fire you. It has to actually be a probable cause. If they were just to fire you based upon not liking your mood and you not liking their mood, you actually got a case. So the manager need an alibi, and an alibi could be bullshit. Men who are abusive towards black children, men who are abusive towards their black woman, need to be locked up. And anyone that's partaking in defamation of character towards an innocent person should also at this point be locked up because it's just as dangerous what you're doing. How is what I'm doing dangerous? Because let's say, let's just entertain the fact that like, let's say he is innocent because at the end of the day, we don't know shit, we weren't there. Exactly. We just know what other people are saying. I think it's messed up for you to go and create this whole platform of like just focusing your energy to keep somebody you don't know locked away because you heard from something face, else bro. i heard from something else you know that you ain't doing the right from something else <laughs> that he is a bad man said, i'm just an agent man. The third. you don't know him in real life and even if you did know him motherfucker don't have to pick the phone like a fucking real man and hey, 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 hey. state that motherfucking issue but you motherfuckers wait till motherfucker get locked up talk your shit you a bitch and that's how I'm coming. Right now, they are harnessing the motherfucking energy of the sun being an Al Gold right now. And the moon is debilitated. So they're harnessing that. In some way, I gotta use the restroom, y'all. Y'all gotta be careful how y'all present yourselves on the internet right now because they, they talk shit. You know what I'm saying? They going, they going motherfucking crazy right now. Like, they just got Young Thug in them. They're sweeping up energies based upon what we're giving a lot of motherfucker attention to. My man's been out here spreading the message, speaking his truth, communities, all type of shit. He was presenting himself in a way like the Malcolm X a little bit, like to kill a cop kind of low key, or let's go to war with them a little bit. If you got some extreme cause right now and you on the internet and you do look like you got followers and shit like that, they're building low key Rico cases. So they did that with Nature Boy, did that with Rashad Jamal. The light got knocked off, who name them? They go. Their charges are so bizarre. I mean, all of them. We're tired of the system. We're tired of our beautiful goddesses and gods transcending for no fucking reason. It's a war on us. I got that fire in me. I'm a sun baby, yeah. When I speak the truth, now they say I'm crazy, yeah. I used to be a fool, but you can't fool me, yeah. Got that fire in my body. I'm all right. We was down. Now it's time to up the scope. I come in peace, but you demons gotta go. Don't wanna kick it if you out here on that same shit. Don't wanna be around a whole lot of toxic shit. Don't wanna fuck with you if you out here on that petty shit. I'm riding solo cause bitches be back doing shit. I speak the truth, but these haters ain't gon' do shit. Beauty queen of boss, hell no, nah, you ain't give me shit. I got that fire in my body, I'm a rock, goofy bitches. You goofy nigga. I got that fire in my body. I'm, I'm a rock. Goofy people. I got that fire in my body. I'm a rock. Man, fuck these demons. I got that fire in my body. I'm a rock. Goofy bitches. I got that fire in my body. I'm a rock. Goofy people. I got that fire in my body. I'm a rock. Goofy nigga. I got that fire in my body. I'm a rock. Man, fuck these demons. Down, down, burn them like a fucking dragon. I keep it real, bitch. I don't do no capping. You wanna see me, you gotta catch me out in traffic Man, fuck these demons, better not catch them out in traffic I yell up on the beat like I'm a fucking rock star I don't fuck for bags, but your girl, she's a porn star Don't talk to me unless you talking about that money shit I introduce you to my honey clip It's time to get our shit back Nigga, this is my plan now, I got fire, I been strapped Quit frontin' my shit clap. That's why you ain't pay for that. Quit frontin' my shit clap. Goofy bitches got that fire in my body. I'm a rock. I got that fire in my body. I'm a rock. I got that fire in my body. I'm a rock. I got that fire in my body. You motherfucker demons. Your motherfuckers gotta go. Y'all ass out here every time we speak the fucking truth. Y'all always trying to lock us up or y'all always trying to label us and try to make us look bad. You motherfuckers don't fucking get it. Y'all don't fucking get it till somebody fucking dead and gone. And you wonder why don't nobody do shit for the fucking black community. Cause you motherfuckers wanna nail people to the fucking cross. The first time you hear a motherfucker a, na a false narrative about your own kind, your own brother. Here you come negative motherfuckers. You're looking for some gossip. You're looking for some tea. Not understanding that we is motherfucker fighting the devil. Motherfucker, we actually fighting the real devil, bitch.
Your demons is pissing me off. The first thing you do is get on the fucking phone and talk shit instead of getting on this goddamn internet and raising hell and letting motherfuckers know that we got the power of God inside of us, bitch. And guess what? If you take Rashad Jamal down, motherfucker, we still raising hell in this bitch. We sick of y'all killing us, stealing our lot fucking information, misleading the goddamn blind, and you motherfucking house Negroes is out there having fucking kids by these fucking devils. You want to be part of their goddamn community so bad. Do y'all understand what the fuck going on? We ain't supposed to be on this motherfucker telling y'all shit. They trying to take your black ass down. We not supposed to know who we are. So yeah, they had kids by your motherfucking ass. They not from here. So yeah, they gonna be laughing in your face. <laughs> you can fuck all of us. Yeah, fuck us. Well, go your bitch ass over there. We need some real niggas that's gonna stand up. Not you motherfucking house Negroes. I'm letting your motherfuckers know now. We sick of your house ass. You will sell us out for a fucking dollar. We don't need you. That's why, goddammit, Mama Universe getting rid of your bitch ass. There's a bigger call. There's a bigger plan ahead. And you know we don't speak our fans into the atmosphere right now because you know people will sometimes try to intervene with those plans but see this is one plan right here that's not going to get intervened with this is one plan right here that you can't alter understand that we've already played this time before we've already won this war we're just playing it out right now so when i tell you it's a bigger plan ahead family it's a bigger plan ahead I got Amara Ra inside of me, bitch. That's the fire, motherfucker. That big ass ball outside. That sun. Yeah, I got that fire in my body, Amara, bitch. So for him not not have a bond, this is why he wanted me to go ahead and let you guys know what the hell was going on. Okay, so I need the university. If y'all say y'all behind my husband, support my husband. You know what to do. I shy.